No, no, Jack, you must understand. The ones having sex with the car is the dragon. I'm masturbating in the car. Therefore, I'm clearly a police officer. Because that was something that was legal until, like, last year uh, in a state. And was... Hey! Video game times! What? Yeah, like, a year or two ago, there was specifically some legislation in one of the states that made it specifically illegal for police officers to master, or no, I guess not illegal, no longer legal for police officers specifically to masturbate in their police car on duty. Why was this an exception? We may never know. But it horrifies me. Why was it legal in the first place? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Like, I can only imagine, like, every weird-ass law that it was a holdover from, like, 200 years ago. Back when... I... I, I don't know! It... I don't know. Video games. <laughs> <coughs> oh boy I'd post one of my emotes here but I don't have them attached to switch so I'm a DM to you how horrified is it uh yes exactly ah! I scream you scream we all scream cause we don't want the cops to cream no no that's bad not the joke that was one of my like first good jokes in like a week the, the cops do it. Gross. Yeah. Anyways, how are you? T uh, traumatized. As usual. So, uh, voices of the vo void vehicle. You're right. That was a better title, Jag. I also thought people would go, what the fuck is a voidicle? So I just put vehicle instead. Um, I think I'm almost done with this game. Like, not because I'm bored of it or anything. It's actually a cool, chill experience. I think I'm about to beat it. Unlike the cop in his car. God damn it. Let's beat this meat. I mean game. Because, like... Tony is dead. And my entire thing is go to the super deep and doob and -da -da zone. Which I thought would be like in here, so it might be I go here for a quest, then get another one over here, and then we just win. So. Oof. Ooh, high corruption. I guess we're gonna go do that? Hopefully, it doesn't take me only like an hour or two to beat it, because we got a whole five to go. But like, uh, yeah, I guess. If anybody wants to suggest something to play for the last, like, three, two, three hours of stream, if we do end up beating it <laughs> real quick here, uh, feel free to chuck it in the chat. But we got Carby. He's all carbed up, except for this door, which I'm too lazy to do. Uh, I, I, I honestly think I'm good. It's like the only thing I could possibly want to do anymore is upgrade my car but like I'm assuming there's going to be something that requires like 200 Olympium fragments that they make you grind for before the the final end of the game or something but whatever uh car let's go but like, my car is already uh, fully armored, which, despite that being, like, mid-tier, is, is, uh, is pretty good, considering I deflect everything else that I could possibly want to deflect with the free shield. Like, if I didn't have the shield, I might want to get, like, the anti-irradiant or corrosive armor for the car or something, but, like, I don't need to, because... The shield just does that and repels anomalies for me. So, meh. You can always democracy? We could always democracy for stream. Uh, go yell at Mayo and see if Mayo wants to be also be prepared for democracy. 
in the event that I beat this game, like, on this exact run in an hour or the next one in two or three. <laughs> then we can poach uh, two more beeples for democracy times. We can retake Malevolent Creek. Like good God-fearing Helldivers. Sorry, Liberty-fearing Helldivers. I regen this. Oh. Enough that I can literally leave on <laughs> the shield as long as I'm moving at a decent pace. <coughs> TLDR, ask him when we go go to do it. it. Yeah, but he takes like, he might be in the middle of something and might need some um, heads up because he's currently playing with some of his other friends, right? So that might take him a little bit to dislodge himself from, but if he knows like an hour or two ahead of time, he might be able to. Fine! I will ask him! Man, you want a democracy if I beat car game early and have time and strip. Done. He said mood is fickle, so he can't give a definite answer right now. Well, let's see what he tells me. Then we can cross-reference his lies. Yeah, it says find the barricade. I'm assuming the barricade is going to be like, build a better shield with 2,000 Olympium fragments. And I'm going to go, I want to. Depending on how you get Olympium, because I have found like two in random containers in the deep zone. And if that's how you find it and I need like 20, no, I'm not doing that. Sorry, game. I did not. He has replied. Uh, if, maybe, depends how I feel in a little while. Okay, thank you. Thank you, we. Hopefully he doesn't think I was trying to type anything after we. That was a typo somehow, the entire word. He means nothing. Going this way. Ow. Should actually probably grab this big one while I'm over here. Not that I need it, but just so I can zoom if I need to. Like, I'll go for the huge ones. That's a lot of energy. Whee! Shield! Not. I need that, sir. <coughs> it, no! I was going to say it's a good thing by the front is blocked until he unblocks it. Ah, uh, ye son of a bitch. I love you, car friend. Uh. Stop with the lightning. Why is there so much lightning? Bro. Yeah, see, it's like half a meter already. Yeah, I love this little man. Can I buy one of these in real life? Pacific Drive purchase. Out on PS5. Etsy, probably illegitimate. Uh, Epic Games. Merch store. Skateboard shop. I don't think that's even related to the game. PacificDrive.com. Do you have store? Can I buy gross tardy worm bobblehead? No, gross. I love him. This game makes me yearn for stalker. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe I'll boot up uh, my incredibly fuck ass modded stalker game and uh, see if I remember even the slightest of where I am. I believe I was to the point where I basically exhausted all challenge in the south area of, of the zone and I was going towards the middle areas. But the middle areas have uh, a Stoi Monolita people in it, and they make me scared because they have guns. 
that shoot me and I die. Ha ha ha, that does. Did help fast. Oh boy! <laughs> Handbrake is amazing for when I accidentally fast. <laughs> oh, shield is good for at least the clean. Turn to do a good old fashioned small town murder together. Dun dun dun! Hit baseball simulator game off. Wait! Light! I broke my back hauling my friends like 120 pound solid concrete $350 gargoyle up the stairs for him. And my muscles, they don't hurt anymore. Uh, my spine! Still, it hurts when I lay down to sleep. That's fun. Alright. Ow. And when I do this, uh, of radioactive fallout, hey! Disappearances. They it's fixed it. What Arda was doing was high. It doesn't shut off when I when I transition anymore. <laughs> nice. Art. Bun. Good noise. There are so many emotes that I wish I could steal for my channel. Alas, I had to be semi-creative and just steal them from Hat. They weren't made for someone else, they were made for the game, and then, now they're shut up. Stop hurting yourself. I had to haul the gorgle. I was doing my friend a favor, and he bought me like $40 of Japanese food, of which, like, the only thing that was really too great uh, was the sushi. Which was actually pretty nice. Uh, the steak was overcooked. The steak sauce was steak sauce. I don't like steak sauce. Uh, and the rice was... All right. And they didn't have any good vegetables. What kind of freaking kind of freaking place serves serves fried rice without water chestnuts. God damn it. I would eat a plate of squatter chestnuts. They're so weird tasting, but like, good. They didn't have baby corn either. What kind of fucking place? Just have baby corn. Did you eat a plate of squash nuts? Um, no, cause that sounds illegal. Um, but once a year uh, around like the Midwest, kind of where I live and some other states surrounding here, uh, like Texas Roadhouse or whatever, has a special like week-ish called the testicle festival uh in which you can order bull testicles at the restaurant apparently they're not bad but they are described as having a creamy texture which is a little bit suspicious if you ask me No, uh, apparently, like, testicles are, like, soft tissue, so when you cook it, it gets soft and a little bit, like, squishy malleable, hence creamy texture. But don't describe testicles as creamy if you're trying to, you know, offer them up as a dish. Oh, God, the water is acid! I made a terrible mistake coming through this zone. <coughs> okay, uh, we're gonna take the mountain path, I think. But the roads are usually flooded. Cream testicles, my favorite. I uh, Can you cream anything? Like, how do you make cream corn? What sets cream corn apart from normal corn? 
Good evening, Bombadil. You're ageless as time itself. Have you ever ate testicles before? Not like, you know, in the gay way, in the food way. Well, you've done weird stuff. The cream things, you just add cream to the mixtures. That's what I was like, I thought. But I couldn't remember if it was like cream additive or you just like squish it up to the point it itself becomes creamy. Ow. And... Okay, I'm beginning to think my shield only protects me against physical objects and the devil grinder. Probably only in Asiatic cuisine. No, you can barbecue that shit. As I had mentioned uh, prior to you coming in, every year around here, the like steakhouses all have the testicle festival. Although it might be a just te uh, Texas Roadhouse. But it's like an event, so I can't imagine others don't hop on. I would assume anywhere they eat, like, you know, beef. They probably figured, yeah, we can eat that. It's the Middle Ages. Any sustenance is good sustenance. Eat nuts. You've probably had plenty, just not whole. Are you telling me that there is suspicious amounts of beef in ground beef? Sausages and hot dogs. I don't know, probably, maybe. I like to think they probably wouldn't put, you know, the nuts of the dick in it. It would just be the... Like, general gross cut off that they can't make a full cut out of. You could definitely sell the nuts and the penis separately. And there is a market for that. So I would assume those don't just randomly go into, like, nuggets... Ow. You know what I just realized? Yeah. I don't have much healing for my car, do I? Wait, no. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's, it's already damaged in a way it can't be sold. Ow! Yeah, I guess that would be a way that they just reprocess it into processed meat. Why do you think they don't tell you what's in sausage? Because it's like gristle and fat and shit. And people would go, ew, that sounds gross. I was like, no. Or it's more that it's, you know, intensely pasted blended meat. Hence the, the ooh, pink slime. Ooh, spooky. It, it's, it's literally just pureed, like, edible stuff that they can't make a single solid out of. It, it's, it's not, it's not bad. It's literally me. But like what they shave off of steaks and whatnot to make them pretty. You know what the pink part of it is? The blood. I think. And the meat parts that, you know, go in the meat. And probably some amount of food color. No, because it becomes white when you cook it. Which is very, you know, meat. Starts out reddish, pinkish, then turns off white. When you get
God, I hope they Oh, of course it's an electrician one. Well, it's a, a good thing. Oh, I love you. Holy shit, game. You are the best thing ever. It's going to say if my car gets beat up and I have to go home. Tree candy. I have the energy for the portal now. Maybe I won't have to. Look, I got, I got repairs now. Although, before I do this... I don't suppose there's a repair station anywhere. There's a charging one. I'm gonna go check the next area over. Wow, that mirror is fucked up. That window is fucked up. All I did was get rammed into by like three giant boulders. What the hell? Exiting stabilized area, am I? Uh oh. Anomalous clue. Uh, yeah, I think I have to go here. Well, oh! this will be fine. We're just gonna casually drive through the area and try to hopefully find something to heal with, or materials like chemicals to make paste out of. Of course not. Well, we can check the house. If it is the final mission of the game, there is a uh, point to be made that I don't need to survive with all of my car intact. Oh, great. One of my fuel tanks is leaking now. Really? Oh, well. Make a putty. We glass shards. See? I'm starting to think you only find Olympium in one, maybe two if you're lucky, in containers. Which would be stupidly annoying to try and formulate half the crap that it wants you to make it out of them in the game. Like, some of that shit requires, like, 20. Which sounds nightmarish. I 
it did say Swift Storm. That was pretty swift. That was swifter than the other Swift Storms. Protective shield! Okay, protects against the devil grinders. Which probably means that those are, you know, rocks flying up from below and thus physical damage. Oh, it's probably a little. It, it, it's not probably. It literally says it's a physical damage shield. That physical is a damage type. I'm dumb. So, of course, it doesn't protect against radiation, acid, or lightning. Ouch. door open. The rocks are breathing. Ha! I don't find that funny at all. Oh. Kind of gross in here. Dr. Franke's Preluded Dungeon. You can have all the experience of running through a dungeon with none of the reward. Aha. The point is the friends you made along the way. Get the fuck out of this hellhole. Okay. Hi. There are more than the red spires in the deep zone. But so far, there's only been the red spires. Also, still no idea where you get tree candy. Probably from purely the synthesizers, like the magnets and a lot of other stuff. Ugh. Uh-oh. Well, uh, I hope the main quest sorts this for me. Give us the rundown, Francis. What, me? The electrical grid is your department. But you know the plan as well as I do. So you'd rather trust me than have to speak up for yourself? Uh, uh. Guess you're on your own, Francis. Don't be a pussy, Francis. Give me it. Okay, fine. Yeah, good boy. barricade we can piggyback onto. It's archaic technology, an early attempt to stop anomalies from drifting out into the wider Olympic Peninsula. It worked for some time. Until it didn't. That, that died. Long enough to get the old wall built. The barricade's in bad shape, but what's a little rampant voltage leakage? Not like the ghosts and goblins of the deep zone will mind. And if they do, all the better for Francis. Huh? Appreciate the olive branch, Avi, but boy, do you have a lot to learn about the paranormal. I'd be happy to give you a primer after all this is over. Ugh, hard pass. I'm far too old for that. The car will induce a current along the barricade. That's not a pneumatic loop. Same way you did crossing the old wall. Every connection point needs to be induced within a limited time. Electrify the entire barricade, R. and we'll have all the power we need. You heard him. Floor it, driver. No, no, one second. I need to prepare. You're near the barricade's operating station. Can you get in there and look around? We need something that'll give us the lay of the land. wonder if there's going to be conveniently a map up here. <gasps> no.
Ah uh, ouais I just... Oh, look! Conveniently a map! Never mind. Yes. Perfect. I'm uploading the barricade map to your arc device. By my calculations, if you electrify all eight posts, you'll have all the power you need. I'm sorry, there's eight? Poppy, does that seem right? Does it seem right to you? I, I, I think so. Yeah, I, I ran the numbers a few times, and I... Then get to it, driver. We're teaching Francis to be more confident. That's the word. He will as soon embody the ghost of Toby. Maybe one of the shimmery shiny ghosts around here is Toby now. Like that would be terrifying. Okay, hopefully I'm gonna fuck this up. Press F to f oh, I gotta go through like the whole damn map. Okay. This is gonna suck ass, ain't it? I guess I only have to go from one station to the next and then I can have breaks in between. enough to go the full circuit as long as it's not some weird RNG bullshit in the way. Oh look RNG bullshit Fine. It wasn't enough. Thankfully these had a lot longer of a range than I thought they did. And ever and I'll, I'll always think they do whenever I start them. Also, I appear to be dying. Wow. Making good time. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no. Oh, God, I was going to stop for loot. No, that's an anvil. Yeah, I think it's a blacksmith, but you know, it goes up and it goes down like a tinky on an anvil. Close it up. Looking good, driver. Thanks, mom. This looks nice and lootable. But alas, I'm on the schmoo. Oh god, this is a long one. Ah, you didn't bring the fully upgraded arc engine? Well, not fast enough. Oopsie, go collect 20 Olympium things. Yeah, hey. Good. I'll just not play the game. It's been nicely paced so far. Like, there's a little bit of grinding, but not enough to turn me off in it. Although it feels weird. Potentially being close to the end.
And I've had to do some other grinding, have I? Yeah, like to make the bumper. I think, yeah, I had to craft it. There wasn't a whole lot there. Did I do it? Okay, okay. No. Oh, why is that red? Engage shield. I like the red bunnies. There, there, they look, they look explosive. Uh oh. Okay, I think the protector shield actually worked. Maybe I should get a second one for the back half of my car. Other bumper. I can have the entire one. Which was something I was curious about, like if it would only remove things on my front. You like does the first half of the shield? Oh yeah, yeah. This is sure. I thought that's fine. Ow, my frame rate. Oh. Our device readings at 4.2 gigajoules and holding steady. Good. Then we're all set. The off device is ready to go. How much is that in gigawatts? Charge for as long as we need it. Charge the arc device. Am I? Right. Pedal to the metal driver. Storm's coming. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, oh. Uh, there is a portal. Woo! It's okay. We got off-road tires. I love these things so much. <laughs> Pedal to the metal. Oh, you just have to like gently drift down. I wonder if overcharging means I no longer have to collect things to go through a portal. Like, that'd be nice. Like, you've almost beaten the game. Now you don't have to collect arc things in the field in order to leave you. That was nice. The well could be a lot. Take your time and gear up. No telling what that remnant's going to unleash. Yeah, this sounds like it's the final mission. End of the road. That sounds like a final mission if I have ever heard of one. Hey, driver. No. I sent you something, if you don't mind taking a look. It's one of my Japanese animes. I thought you might want to see it before the end. <gasps> In memoria. Oh, you know. Tobias is favorite cryptid of them all. <gasps> is it Big Feet? It's not too much to ask. Oh, I get a Big Feet bobblehead. Put it on your dashboard. 100%. So Tobias can come along for the ride for wherever you're going. Oh, that's super cute. Uh, but don't oh, Jesus Christ. By any means. Are you sure that's a Bigfoot? It looks like a bear. This is just a smiley bear. Thanks, he's horrifying. I was hoping it would be the weird spindly gondola Bigfoot. dumpster is sad like oh you're not gonna come back anymore are you no I'm not going. I have to leave this place go see my wife my kids that's a lie I have neither there's so much more to do in this game too hey, the trees. Da -da 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 download it's a download you would have downloaded a car I would a hundred percent download a car I have, that's what warping it is. How do we deter kids these days from pirating software? By making it look fucking awesome. Wait, no.
Damn it. I am one egg short! And one fragment and several more eggs short. That's fine. I can make, like, fuckloads of putty. The Jersey Bear. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't think that's what that picture is. Okay, anything else I want to take? I think I am basically fine. I have a plasma charger that's like half full, but that thing goes. Several large fuel cans. At least two of every kit and six repairs. That's okay. My engine is worn, which makes me very nervous. should definitely bring more ceiling kits, though. Because, like, that's probably the most needed kit of the entire everything. Because you got tires, your windows. I think that's it. Still! That's a lot. Alright. Let's have at it. God, all the places I need to go through are, like, stormy now. Gross. Well, uh, hopefully we're not coming back. What do you got? Meteors? Oh, that sounds lovely. Light ambient radiation. Corrosive water. Fuck. Hmm. The stats on these. I have armored stuff, right? 55 impact and explosion resistance. Luckily, these are better. You know, as far as health goes. But, I don't know. Maybe I don't need armored stuff, because, uh, impact resistance I negate with the, the protective shield. Well, wish me luck, I'm gonna go die! Boy! He is horrifying. I hate that. I was hoping it would be a squatch. I am dying. Goodbye, funny garage. So, still don't know how my car is an anomaly, other than, like, being there and existing, I guess. Is it just friendly and vaguely sentient? So what the fuck does that mean? Maybe that is hinting that, like, it makes it so I don't have to eat and drink. And be with the car forever, 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 forever.
<sighs> okay. We are not going to worry about stuff. We are just going to get and flip. God, you're terrified. What is that supposed to be? My favorite cryptid is Smokey the Bear, but before he became friendly and started killing everybody. Or stopped killing everybody. And put the weight of forest fire prevention squarely on the shoulders of children. Inflicting them with crippling emotional damage instead of physical damage whenever a forest burned down. And what quirk is making my lights flicker? You know, I did forget to check for quirks. That's fine. Headlights flickering is nothing. Use it when it's not in park. Use it when it's on. Here he goes. Radio off. Yes. Ability off. Fine. go scan them. Flickering can also be them about to die. They're not worn, though. Oh. Never mind. It wore in the five seconds it's been since we freaking left the garage. You are correct. Also, if I'm supposed to be, like, psychically, psychologically conditioned to love this car, why am I ever going along through with the plan to rid myself of it? Top up. If I don't immediately get hit by that. Make way. Get out of the road, you bozo. Suck a fart out of my ass.
do it. Dare you to. Ha ha! Loser. Before we go, how many anomalies have I missed scanning? Because I've been trying to scan ones that I notice are... Jesus Christ. Really? Really? I've only found three-fifths of the anomalies in the game? Like, what have I missed? There's probably, like, five that I've seen, but never scanned. It, that does make me wonder if there's plenty more. Like, once you beat the game, you can just go into, like, free play mode, which adds new anomalies and a whole bunch of other wacky and wild bullshit. We should have gone around the place with Carissa Waters. Because, like, there's also so many more... Upgrades I don't have. Jesus Christ, you're terrifying! There. Rip, dude. What does this look like? Cryptozoological burrs. There is an entire page of it. There are several. Uh, is it the Nandy Bear? Meh. It looks like Smile Dog, but also a bear. Unusual bear with cream colored hair. Ooh, scary. It's just a bear. Giant polar bear. Uh, it, it, it's a bear. Yeah, it's big. The Nandy Bear looks like a ground sloth. These all just look like bears. Stan Bergman killed an enormous black bear. Okay, so it's a black bear with gigantism. So, big whoop. You want to fight about it? <laughs> Monster bear. A bear with a face that resembles a dog. So, a bear. Uh-huh. Like how the first comment is, pandas are a family of raccoons, apparently. That's red pandas, dumbass. Rifted wiki. Ooh. Oh, is it the beast of Bray Road? Which, that looks like a werewolf. It literally called a werewolf. Or a big feet! That doesn't seem... Very berry. See, this one looks unique. It's like a bear mixed with a pangolin. He's cool. He's called the Skeljad Screams League. Let me guess. It's Icelandic. Can I send this to Deadzy? And have Deadzy go, yeah, it means this. It it literally means shell monster. It says, Deadzy! Deadzy, translate, please. Fuck, we'll see what it actually means. From the Sveed himself. The Ozark Howler. This one has horns. And he's pretty spooky. Do you have hearts? Nah, he's just fat as fuck. Give me cryptid recommendations for the Fiji Phantom. This is just a monkey. This is just a monkey. I've heard of the Nendi Bear before. Is that it? There you are! This looks like a hyena. How many of these... I found it! It's called the Gumbaroo! He looks exactly like him! He's got a big ol' smile, and he is a massive, fat fuck. And I love him. There you go. It's a fearsome critter. I... that... would not quite class that as critter. Especially when it melds into trees or whatever. How it might look in real life is a bear with mange. And... Yeah, it's pretty on the level of fat fuck to be a mangy bear. Also, mange doesn't give it huge jowls and jaws. I kind of like that they went for, like, a lesser known cryptid. He's so fat.
All right, now that I know what he is, he's not so creepy and scary, which, you know, tends to be how it works. Horror is best when uh, either things are trying to rip you actively apart to make you panic, uh, or you don't know what they are. And, like, you can't get a good look at them in the, the info, which is why I have a problem with, like, the presentation of, like, the death scenes in Alien Isolations and, like, the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, I think it'd be a lot scarier if they didn't, you know, show five seconds of it going, Booga Booga in your face. And if it was just, like, a claw that for a half second crams across your screen and then it all fades to black. Like, the more you let me stare at it, the less I get scared at it. Oh, that almost was perfect. But maybe that's just me. Although Five Nights at Freddy's is more um, the tenseness of uh, anticipation and lost progress rather than the monsters being scary. <laughs> Alien Isolation, like I mentioned, also has that problem. And that half of the death scenes are just the xenomorph like going in your face for literally 10 seconds before it eats you with its little mouth. Like having it just be like a claw that comes up and you know, grabs your head and then immediate black and it's like a second or two. That sounds flappier. Having a repulsion shield, I still get slowed by those. Oh, cool! Well, uh, my one. <laughs> my flickering headlight broke entirely, that's fine. I only need one. The more you stare, the more you want to get in bed with. What? I mean, I guess if the Gumbaru wasn't trying to kill me, it does look like a big old fluffy cuddly bear friend. Like, bears are goddamn adorable for a creature that could rip my skin and face off in, like, Mach Seconds vibes. That was words. In a Mach 5 amount of seconds. If Apex Predator, then why his ears look like that? Protect me. I guess damage reduction alone. God, I wonder how much damage those do if you run into them without protection. If I don't have my sweet anomaly energy condom on, do I just like get ripped apart in seconds? Have a fire.
I've documented every anomaly I've seen so far. Like, I know a couple exist, like the thorn log or spike log or whatever it is. That's 32 of 52. Like, there's still a lot that I am missing. So who knows? Maybe, and hopefully, there's like a, a new game plus or a uh, get up and go hard mode. Or post game. Dear God, look at all those huge fucking anchors. I mean, assuming it has something to do with the meteor shower. Mistakes were made. All right, we don't touch those. I even scanned the like weird thing and the crates are a separate one. That's too. Oh, uh, check it out. I blew another tiger. Great. That's fine. Now we're just in desert bus mode. Set the opposite desert bus because we are drifting to the left. Very spiky. Oh, I hate that. That is a lot of dude. That we shall carefully navigate. Was that the meteor? Oh, is that why these are randomly exploding? Because they're getting pinked by meteors? The meteors aren't that bad. I thought it'd be like just douche, douche, douche constantly around me. Like, that's the first one I've actually seen. was a meteor. It was a, a lot more than just a meteor. drive to the end. And now the hard part. There's happy hairs here. Weird, and there's nice anomalies in this deep. hallucination and what Tobias and Alan died for and whether it was all worth it
we're gonna to the end. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get to the end. It's just gonna be a giant glowing like billboard that says, "Be sure to drink your Ovaltine." Of course, one of my tires is worn now, and my door. This would have been great not to happen in this exact mission. Although it's not that bad. I got the kids to deal with the, the pops. I'm surprised my engine hasn't fucked up. Like, it blew twice. On, like, one of the last ones from yesterday. It's an electrical love. Nice and flickery. Give some spooky ambience. All right. How much gas we got left? Oh, <laughs> Paul Enti. Oh, is this the final level? The straightaway? All right. The well. Nice moonlit drive. Francis. Clear, not so sunny night. Thank you for trusting me. But you had every reason not to. Getting to this point together with you, it makes me feel like my old self again. Oh! Man, that's kind of fucked up. An honor to watch Very you rain world. Aw, oh, dog. They're making up. Well, into the giant red energy blast I go! I can't even begin to guess what could be output as much radiation. Some sort of energy reservoir. I don't stand or a, outside. A Got it. Atlantis. What? We moved on from cryptids to like whole ass conspiracy theories. If this thing really leads us to Bigfoot secretly in a Garthen giant. I'm turning in my PhD. God, if only Tobias were here to see it. I would have liked to hear his take on all this. For once. It's very red. All right, driver. You're almost to the threshold. Remember, Francis and I've got your back. Well, once you get that car to the well. Keep the gamma ray Goodbye, up. kids! Gonna go get evaporated! Whatever happens, whatever state you find Atomize yourself, me, Captain! The Octavice will be your safety net. Let's go! Back to us, you hear me? Ready when you are, driver. Yeah! Opening. Rip the band-aid off! God speed, driver. God fucking speed! This is actually kind of nice. It's the garage! Oh. Happy? Dude, where's Happy? my car? Did it work? What's the energy output? Damn it, we I'm are in the fine. past. Uh, light nearly blinded me. C can you read it? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, let me see. Five, 500 kilojoules? To go watch. Happy, what is this? Whee! I call it. Ow. My. I need snacks. <laughs> My knees. Uh, Alan, gosh. Is it that time already? So, uh, about leaving off. <laughs> I was thinking, how about by Christmas? Yes. Maybe. Little primbo. I just need to solve this instability issue. I love to think about leaving the Olympic Peninsula like this. Yeah, there's always more to do. I know. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. I'm just wondering if you'll freely be able to walk away from all this. It's okay if you can't. You abandoned the world to work here beside me. Fair is fair. Lentech is a world-changing discovery. Your world-changing discovery. Fairness isn't even a perfect opportunity to italicize you the door in those sometimes. 
and I'm not having them in Think this of country. all of the deaf people <laughs> going, oh, that wasn't too intense. <laughs> mm. Then I hope you're ready to carry at least half of those yourself. I love you. I love you. Is my car talking to me now? Ow! Time for snackies. Oh, never mind. Tobias, the movers are here. Wait, why aren't you packed? I ain't going. The evacuation orders... The evacuation orders can go to hell. We leave, and we never see the inside of these walls again. All the things we've been investigating. The ripple, the echoes from the swamp, these they'll all fade away. I'm gonna stay and chase down these stories. Wherever they take me. Tobias, I... Stay here. Oh, oh free loot! Do I have loot? Ah, oh. Darn it. Maybe you should put a cool-ass chest right there and not let me loot it for whatever the hell green state material we get. guilty of doctoring experimental data. This action is in clear violation of artist scientific integrity. Judgment has been rendered. You may stay in work, but your clearance will be lowered to level three. So I'm to be a glorified flash cleaner. Take it as a win. You could have been court-martialed instead. Yeah, I'm sure you would have liked that much better. What I like has no bearing on this decision. See you on Monday, Dr. Cook. We know his last name. Oh, hi, you're real, Driver, right? You passed through some sort of opening. Warning. Uh, I don't know. Explosion is growing. We don't have much longer. We need to get back now. Am I dying? Hey, look. The gang's back together. Tobias? I, um... He is a joke. I I was that you stayed behind in the zone. It was me. Turns out nobody actually yes. dies in the zone. Kind of cool. Best of my life. Foraging for mushrooms, slogging through swamplands, combing through hours and hours of ah. terrible field recordings. Metro and broken. Not a single moment wasted. Of all the TVs. Man. Thank you. A special one. For everything. It was all you. You made me feel capable. That anything was possible. That I wasn't some second-rate scientist. All my Wait, video games! Thanks to you. Can and I, I'm I afraid. Wait, damn it. I'm afraid of how I'll survive without you. I'm not. You got this. You always have. Now we're all hey, hallucinated. Alan sends his regards. And he wants to know why you haven't taken his advice yet. <laughs> they exist here. Is that a gun hey, look! I was well, right. I did man. find it on the cryptid wiki. Bye. Until next time. See ya, Toby. Tobias? Tobias! <laughs> Driver, if you could hear this, I like we can't him. Keep the well stable I'm for much longer. Dead. Wherever you are, come back. I'm hoofing it as fast as I can, lady. Morning! High R levels. There's an N-word joke in there somewhere, but I'm not gonna make it. Ah, oh, we're out of the TVs. Hey, look, my car! The oh, baby? I missed you! How did I get out? Oh. Maybe. So, I thought this was supposed to separate me from the car. What happens if we don't put the dude on the dash? You just don't get to hear the gumball room. Hold steady, Francis. Meow. Oh, sweet Jesus. Speed is still a mistake! Whee! Uh... Okay, I thought the cylinder was gonna be a, a, a bridge and I just careened off into the void. I tried to go around it. Just like the meteor. That we saw like one of them. Oh! Engage deflector! It's just like Star Trek! Whee! I totally botched that. Fuck. I'm fine. I'm not fine!
guys! Uh, one second. Driver, punch it. Go, activate the emergency. Good thing I have the shield still. Sorry, that wasn't very fast. All this emergency and none of the time limit. Fucking cool looking though. Turn from the well. Oh, I got an achievement for having the bear. So I don't appear to be uh, out. You made it back. Or detached from my car addiction. And no sign of the Revenant's energy signature anywhere in that car. Oh. You're free. I just have a cool the car. The car's maintained its link to you. Has it? Fascinating. We'll never know how far the Revenant's obsessions wormed into your head. But you should be safe from it getting any worse. I love my In theory. car. Abby, I'm sorry. Does it no longer give me heart? to talk to Alan again. Okay, thank God. We managed to pull off the near impossible. And the first thing you do is apologize? Sorry. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> Don't worry. It was Tobias's fault. He hogged the frequency all for himself yet again. You heard him too. I did. That means I didn't imagine that last conversation with Alan. And you know what else? What? That your theory was right. And Tobias called it. All that bluster, and he ended up showing us scientists a thing or two. Those moments we heard, they were all from the past. Being inside that well somehow allowed the remnant to access those imprints and replay them. But Tobias's voice wasn't from the past, it was from somewhere else entirely. But where? And how? No clue. Do me a favor. Once you figure it out... That. Don't bother telling me. <clears throat> I'm leaving the zone. I I'm sorry, what? Goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Tell me goodbye. And that I was forgiven 37 years ago. <laughs> I didn't listen. So now, finally, I'm going to take his advice. I should have left the zone a long time ago. But what? if we solve this, maybe there's a way to speak to him again. I heard what I needed to hear. It only took me 37 years to listen. <laughs> anyway, all that sounds like a young scientist game. It's not for me anymore. Francis, you decide what to do from here. You can carry the torch and continue the research, or get out of this cursed place and find your own way. How do That's I leave? I thought that was the and point of this. You're yes. free now. You can do what you want from here. I'm gonna go home. I miss McDonald's. One, one last hope. Stay here with Francis. Aw. There's so many more stories for the zone to tell. And the both of you are young enough to listen. My ears are bad. And I refuse to hear them. I've removed all access restrictions to my systems, Francis. The helm is yours. Wait, I... I don't know if I can do this alone. You're not alone. You've got clear eyes, ears open to the impossible, and the driver. Dr. Cook? Hello. Driver? It's been a pleasure. This is Dr. Ophelia Turner. Signing you gonna watch off. me eat this door? Abby? Uh, Abby? Really? I'm gonna get a red thing, right? Abby, okay, good. Um, I really need to, because the Abby's just kind of with me. Abby was right. There's still so much of the zone that we still don't know about. Fine, but the oh, moment they develop help. drone technology, you're buying me a lot stories. of McDonald's. I, I'm no Oppie. But I'll do the best I can. You're no longer bound to the car. But it stayed with you and will continue to protect you as you travel the zone. What the fuck did the car do for me, anyways? As long as you're willing to drive, I'm along for the ride. Again, all the other Redmonds were like, you know, had infinite pain. Oh, cool, credits. Had infinite pain and, and, and like, other cool, fun things. Like, they inverted microwaves and made shit cold and froze it. The car is just a car. Ophelia loves a dead person, huh? Yes, it's called her late husband. A lot of people do that. <laughs> it's very tragic. That was a really good game. It wasn't an, at all what I was expecting, because, again, I was expecting it to... um, I was expecting it to be kind of like just, you know, open-ended drive and survive and, you know, make stop-offs and scavenge and whatnot as you go. I didn't expect it to be, like, story-based and run-based 
which they had been saying from the beginning. I just didn't actually read the gameplay. Oops. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot better than I... I think it's not a lot better than I thought it would. It was very good, like I thought it would be. The car stayed with you, even if she couldn't have you. That's a keeper, Fenny. I allow you to make sweet, sweet love to it now. I guess I can attach a flashlight to the tailpipe and see how that goes. <laughs> At least it's self-warming. I'm sorry, is that guy Jared spelled J-A-R-R-Y-D? Why does that throw me off so much? Yes, if you fuck one car, you're a car fucker forever! Well, uh, skip. I want to know who did the voice acting. I probably already missed that. Special thanks to Ew. So what now? Uh, let me go yell at Mao. Mao. Come on, crazy. I did the thing. I was right. We had like one or two levels left. Yeah, I probably missed the voice actors. They were very good, though. Stupidly good. Sometime soon, Warhammer. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, Hobo has weekends off. So starting tomorrow... We're going to power wash some power armor. Although I think uh, Space Marine power armor is probably a little bit too small. So it's, it's going to be like dreadnoughts and stuff. It sounds cool. It better be good because it's like the only um, power wash update that actually costs money. It's like an actual DLC for all the other ones are just like free tie-in updates. Propaganda. That idea... Not how you spell that word. Entire game is just ghost propaganda. SpongeBob was a paid DLC? Oh, huh. I didn't know that. I know the um, Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy ones, I thought. DOGS! Lord Bunny Gilgamesh. I approve of that name. Oh, I said I had a baby. They have their, their cars on it. <laughs> um, Man, there's a lot of music in here if you don't have your uh, streamer mode on. There was four songs for me. What was I saying? Uh, the Final Fantasy one and the um, Laura Croft one, Tomb Raider one, I thought were either free or Hobo bought them. And one person buying it gives it to everybody who plays with them. Speed tree. What does speed tree do? I'm assuming it's like a physics software or something, because it uh, it appears in a lot of games. Pacific Drive. How specific? Speed tree. Is it a sp physics engine? Yeah, vegetation modeling. So it, it makes realistic grace as a plugin. Warhammer, Spongebob, and Back to the Future are paid. I forgot they had a Back to the Future one. Oh, God. All right, Jack. Uh, you want to bring Sweet Democracy to Malevolent Creek? Now that we have one. I want to fix my car, though. She deserves it. We've been together through thick and thin. It didn't eat it because of the cutscene, right? now. there we go. You've earned it, baby. I kind of want to see if there's, like, a post-game, though. Is 
It's like, is there new stuff that opened up? Apparently you can go back to the portal. There might be new anomalies if you keep playing, or it's just a free play mode now. Because, like... There are 31 or 21 anomalies that I did not scan, and I'm pretty sure I scanned a lot of most of the things, if not all of the things that I saw. So, like, where the frick are these? Are those a different biome? That I just like never dipped into because I always went to this bunch and that's all the the red spires. Like maybe there's more over here when you go into the dark zone. The Dauntless Light Cruiser is 4.5 kilometers long, so the entire DLC could just be one of those. <laughs> you clean a single ship. We have modeled it inside and out. Enjoy. It will take you years. At the pass, I have a migraine coming on. Aw. Well, fuck. Somebody else give me something to do. That where we're booting up Stalker, and we'll see if I can survive. Or, I mean, we could do... We got enough time I could just do a fucking whatever game. We could do Yakuza. Yakuza was fun. We got... Stuff? What do we even have? Uh, we have the skeleton appearing. I should always plan to have something else. I don't know what I want to do. There's like Yakuza and Cyberpunk. And that's like all I can think of. But I know I have plenty more. I'm done with Baldur's Gate 3. I don't want to play it anymore. It became a buggy mess and entirely ruined it. Uh, I could do a single like, not even day, but a segment of the new Voices of the Void update. But I kind of want to save that until I'm doing it for a week. How about some observation duty? I already beat all the observation duties. And there is unique anomalies in those, but like, I've seen most of them. <laughs> 